In this video, I'm going to show you how formatting styles work in Word 2008 on Mac OS X. Um, the formatting styles allow you to change styles that are an entire document without having to change each individual um, block of text. So, for example, if I allocate each um, item, it's uh, I put it into a group, a formatting group. So the main title is put into the heading one group. The headings are put into the heading two group. The subheadings are put into the heading three group. All right. So now they're ready to be styled. So all the subheadings will have the same styling, all the headings will have the same styling, and all the main titles or heading ones will have the same styling. So let's change the heading one style, modify style. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna not base it on anything. It's gonna have no uh, original base. I'm going to add a border underneath to act as a big underline. I'm going to enlarge the size of it, and that's it. There's my new main title. Right, this will be this will show you now more how this is useful with the formatting. So you see I have two headings, this one and this one. Change the heading two style. I'm just going to increase the font size. And you notice that both of them change. And um, the same with the subheading. If I modify the style, increase the font size, and italicize it, and they've all changed. So that saves me from having to go through the document, selecting each one of these and going into all this and changing it on an individual basis each time. Um, when it comes to formatting a professional document, you tend to want to number your headings and subheadings. So I'll show you how to do that. If I go to modify style and go to um, numbering, Okay, on bullets numbering, go to outline numbered, select um, whichever one you want, I'll use this one. Go on to customize, you can customize the way um, the way it's numbered. In this case, I've customized it so that the level 1, which is heading 1, doesn't have a number. Level 2 has a main 1 number. Level 3 um, follows the main number of the heading um, above it and um, has its own number. So you'll see now that when I press OK. OK, so this heading is um, 1, this subheading is 1.1, .1, this subheading is 1.2, and this heading is 2, so this subheading is 2.1 and 2.2. That's very useful. Um, before I go on to the next thing, I'm going to just change the style base for the headings to nothing because I don't want to... the style base means that when I change the style it's based on it affects that as well. So now I want to modify the style of paragraph text. I'm going to add indentation um, 0.4 centimeters. There you see that's now indented. I'm also going to add... yeah. I'll should increase the line spacing. So that spaces things out a bit. Um, and so that's it really, that's now a more professionally um, formatted document. Um, another reason for using numbers is that it's very useful when inserting a contents table. So to insert a contents table here, I'm going to go to document elements up here. You go to table of contents and then select whichever one you want. Um, in my case, I want this one. And as you can see, it is styled in the, in the same way and it's um, each of these things is numbered. So you've got one heading and then these are indented 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 and so on. And that's very useful because it means you don't have to do it manually. So that's it. That's it for now.